Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. So glad that you're with me today and hope that you're being blessed by the Word of God as you study it day by day, verse by verse, line upon line. And as God adds His Word to your life, you are going to be so blessed and that's my prayer. And that's why we spend this time together. It's also why we go to Him in prayer as we begin our study. Let's do that now. Heavenly Father, we do come to you and knowing that you want us to study your Word. By studying your word, we learn about you, we learn about your son Jesus, we learn your ways, and Lord, we want to be filled with your ways. So we ask that you would bless us today as we read again in this book of Philippians. Lord, may the principles that you have within this book come to life through your Holy Spirit as he leads us into all truth and then helps us to live according to that truth. We bless you, we thank you again for your word. We do so in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is A Sacrifice Pleasing to God. It's taken from the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 18. Paul the Apostle commended the Philippians for ministering to him in his time of affliction. He noted their giving not because he desired anything from them, but rather that they would have fruit that may abound to their account. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 18, Paul shares about his fullness, Epaphroditus, and the blessing of their offering to him. We read, But I have all and abound. I am full, having received of Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. The verse begins, But I have all and abound. Paul once again lets the Philippians know he has all and abound, which means he has everything that he needs and more. He lacks nothing that is essential to his living. And since the Philippians had sent their gifts to him, he considered himself full and complete. The verse goes on to say, having received of Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you. The reason for Paul having all and abound was because the Philippians sent him things by the hand of Epaphroditus, whose name means lovely, whom we previously in chapter 2 and verse 25 met in this letter. We learned that he was their messenger who brought Paul their gifts and his servanthood merited his being mentioned once again. Finally, the verse says, an odor of sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. The idea behind an odor of sweet smell could be one of the things brought unto Paul from the Philippians. However, it is more than likely a reference to the state of their sacrifice to him. Paul said their gifts were a sacrifice acceptable, which means it was a sufficient and adequate offering, which was well-pleasing to God. In other words, though the Philippians were sending gifts to Paul, it was as though they were sacrificing as unto God, and the Lord was well-pleased with their offerings. As we consider Paul's words, do we realize that when we minister to others, we are actually making a sacrifice unto God? The Lord notes when we make offerings to his servants. And just as the Philippians ministering to Paul brought the label of well-pleasing to God, the Lord will be pleased with us when we minister to his servants. Perhaps it will help us to realize that when we give gifts unto the Lord's servants, we are actually giving to the Lord himself. And he sees our sacrifice as acceptable and well-pleasing. Paul's commendation of the Philippians and his acknowledgement of the blessedness of their giving becomes a great example for us as we consider those who share the gospel of Jesus Christ in the mission field. May the Lord bring them to our minds, and may we offer sacrifices which are acceptable and well-pleasing to both them and the Lord. Next time, Paul tells the Philippians that God will supply all all their needs. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 
May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.